Hamster Camp, How Harry Got Fit. Harry craved his candy. He adored his pop and fries. He liked to laze around the house and hated exercise. I have a feeling it's going to be one of these rhyming books. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> his parents weren't much better. So tired when work was through. It seemed easier to sit than find healthy things to do. It hadn't happened quickly, just a little every day. A pizza ordered in or two, TV instead of play. At least the hamster's concerned, I mean... <laughs> Now Harry's hamster went to see what Harry had become. The only workout Harry got was chewing bubble gum. His room was filled with wrappers, candy, chips, and soda straws. So Harry's hamster, Bob, took fate into his hamster paws. I'm guessing that's a a phone or something in his hand. <laughs> oh man. Twas June and school was almost out. Young Harry couldn't wait. He had plans for vacation. Lovely plans to vegetate. He would watch TV all summer and eat snack foods by the pail. Then his parents got an unexpected package in the mail. How odd, they said. Still chances like this don't come every day. So they told Harry, lucky you, we're sending you away. <laughs> Not fat camp, Harry stammered. Thoughts of grueling exercise, jumping jacks, long runs, and chin-ups made tears well in his eyes. No, no, his parents reassured their fretting, fearful son. You're going off to hamster camp. Oh, you'll have so much fun. Harry rolled his eyes. He begged. He made an awful fuss. It didn't help. He found himself aboard the hamster bus. Hamster Bob was quite delighted. Harry slumped down in his seat. Are we there yet? He whined and wailed. And what is there to eat? The bus arrived. He rushed outside. Then saw a flash quite scary. When he looked down, not very far, poor Harry was, well, Harry. The campers now were hamsters. They ran squeaking here and there. They left their bags, for hamsters don't need labeled underwear. <laughs> Goodness. What the heck? <laughs> Pets leaped out from their cages, joined their owners on the ground. Then suddenly a whistle blew. They quickly turned around. Hardy hamsters wearing t-shirts, 
led the campers all inside. We have a month of fun ahead, the hamster counselor cried. Fun? I don't believe it. This is awful, Harry said. He lifted up his hamster foot and scratched his hamster head. Bob hurried Harry to one side and looked him in the eye. It's your choice what you do, he said, but please give this a try. Here's a chance to make a change. Be the best that you can be. Besides, a hamster's life is cool, and that's a guarantee. Except that they only live about two years. Other than that, I love them. At sunrise, campers woke up to the whistle's high-pitched call. They raced to get to breakfast, each inside a plastic ball. <laughs> Soon they were running over rocks and leaping over poles. They swam at Hamster Hollow, and they dove down Hamster Holes. Their games were just amazing. Harry couldn't get enough. Soon he found to his astonishment that he was getting buff. He even liked to run the wheel. He'd made that baby twirl. Then hang on tight with all his might and watch the world a whirl. And clambering to campfire was a nightly hard-earned quest that in hamster terms would be the same as scaling Everest. Junk food? He didn't miss it. TV, he'd rather play. With Bob, he swam and climbed and rolled all hours of the day. The meals were tasty veggie trays and lots of fruit and grain. Harry filled his cheeks with nuts as much as hamster cheeks contain. The week zipped by at lightning speed. Then one night, to Harry's sorrow, the hamster counselor told the group, You're going home tomorrow. Poor Harry groaned, he cried, he begged. He faked a heart attack, but nothing worked, the counselor said. Your parents want you back. Oh, the horror. <laughs> the bus was waiting in the lot. The campers climbed inside, and then a sudden flash of light. Harry looked down and he sighed. The human campers got new belts to match their trim physiques. Their pets received camp t-shirts and rejoiced in hamster squeaks. <laughs> The bus ride home seemed far too short. They watched the camp recede, then squeaked and sang and ch chatted as they munched 
sunflower seeds. Hamster camp changed Harry's life. New sport or game, of course he'll try it. He runs and plays, spends time outside, and eats a healthy diet. At first his parents thought his actions were a little strange, but they quickly figured out that they too would have to change. Harry wanted vegetables. They had to eat them too. Harry took them running. They bought brand new jogging shoes. He made them go outside. Surprise! It turned out to be fun. They soon were trim and healthy just from following their son. And the hamster. <laughs> Now Harry's asked his parents for a first class postage stamp. He wants to be a counselor at next year's hamster camp.